Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This message is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy New Year's and we're going to jump right on in. See what message Spirit has for you. Virgo. Please give me a message for Virgo. Ooh, strength. Love it. <laughs> A lot of you have learned to really um, fortify yourself. This is someone who doesn't give in, someone who doesn't give up, someone keeps going no matter how hard it is, someone who's learned how to uh, control their animalistic desires so you're not lustful, you're not in a rush, you're not trying to do things out of impulse, um, not out of instinct. You really learn to control yourself. Basically, a lot of you, you're okay with waiting, waiting for the right thing at the right time. You're not in a rush in life. You know what it takes. This is someone who's been through a lot of struggle, a lot of strife, and you're not complaining. You're at the point where you see it for what it is. You understand it, and you're just going to go with the flow. Um, wow. Wow. There's a inner fight a lot of you have had to learn to really deal with. Okay, good. That's at the center of your reading. All right. Expect things to start moving pretty quickly. Virgo, this is at the base. We're going to keep going. I just see movement. I see fast movement. I see action. I see communication as well. All righty. Your difficult periods in your life has helped you to get here all right so um you just finished a cycle that was hard you're on your way up okay this is rock bottom you're on your way up this supports you it supports you all right let's keep going here wow you're challenged the devil but you're good you're good because you can overcome the devil energy you have strength here so you're good uh y'all still have things in your environment though there's things some of y'all sometimes it tries to pull on you here okay i'm getting something here you need this strength yeah it's i feel like you all will continuously have this thing that tries to get you to, I guess you say go astray, but you know how to tame that. That's why she restarted with strength. Some of you still have things in your, in your environment, situations, people, um, whatever it could be ideas that sometimes can kind of it can get you off track if you're not able to really go in and, and um, fortify yourself okay let's see what the devil is some of y'all y'all got stuff trying to pull back on you okay I don't know it could be this communication here things you cut out trying to get you stuck Ooh, Virgo y'all gonna have to be on alert I'm getting something strong here I don't know I feel like this is probably your weakness could be trying to communicate here you guys have abundance here there's some type of abundance I get that a lot with y'all, Virgo. But, I mean, you have the Eight of Wands. You have the Eight of Swords. And then you have the Strength card. These are three eights. Okay. So, there's some abundance around you. Right. There's something that comes in. It can mess up your abundance if you allow yourself to um, get pulled down that. Um... I'm seeing like a, a sewer, like a drain, you a whirlpool. I see you going down. 
if you allow yourself to get dragged right down because there's some attachment here to something something that could keep you stuck and i feel like it has something to do with this communication that some of you guys there's something you're gonna have to be on alert that's why you need this strength Okay, something you cut out. I see the, I do see the Queen of Swords at the bottom. So it is something you cut out. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Something's gonna come in fast. It's gonna come in highly charged. <laughs> Information. This has something to do with online technology. Some of you, I don't know if you're online dating or you're meeting people online or you have somebody watching you online. I'm getting some kind of download coming in right now. So I don't know. I feel like they're trying to tell me to say something. Let me pull the last card here. It's going to be a fight. Y'all in some type of fight. This is like a war. And I feel like it's a war of your energy. Y'all going to have to know how to um, master yourself, Virgo. Because I feel like you can be... You can be pulled in the wrong direction. It's like all based on a decision one decision can like pull you back like i don't know some of y'all this could be about something you feel very emotionally attached to some thing or someone you love i feel like this is your soft spot and the devil knows that and when i say the devil i'm talking about just the energy that can pull you pull you back here where you were rock bottom you have to remember that feeling that's going to support you remember when you were there you didn't like it that's going to help you your challenge is getting stuck in unhealthy situations but you're strong enough to win this war this fight I feel like there's there's something like there's a battle here some type of competition between your like it's like your your strength and your weakness and the way this can pull you down is through some type of communication and this could be technology something some of you your work may be online you may do something online you may receive some kind of email there's something it's going to come through technology some of you i don't know it could be like video chatting some kind of communication it knows your weak spot it knows it listen y'all gonna have to be on alert here Let's see what the next six cards would be. The star. So you're on the right track right now. You're you're on the right track, right? Remain positive. This is not something to scare you. This is not something to get you like, oh my God, oh no. No, they're saying you're on the right track. You're on the right track. That's when the devil comes in. When it sees you on the right track, you're very close to something, right? You Strength is here. We started that way. And I like that we started that way because it means that you're strong enough to deal with whatever tries to come, right? So you're on the right track, the star. Uh, continue building, continue working with others. A lot of you, you make really good, um, you network very well. I do see other people around you all. So a lot of you may be meeting new people. I see you working well with the people you're meeting with. 
or the people you're meeting. Some of y'all, you're just meeting new people and I see it going well, right? You're on the right track. Yeah, it works out. I see you doing well. You're feeling good about yourself. Keep going. Um, I see you getting accolades. People may be congratulating you. People may be giving you a lot of compliments. I see you in the public eye. I see you being seen. So some of you all are online. Some of you are probably online dating. I see you getting a lot of likes. <laughs> I see you getting a lot of um, attention here. This is you receiving attention, putting you on a pedestal. I see, you know, there's compliments. There's good things here. There's good energy. You're on the right track. Some of you guys are being seen as some type of star, right? Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of offers. I see people um, wanting to really make love offers to you. This is awesome. This is good. Um, you're being noticed. Wow. Yeah. People reaching out, wanting to offer you their cup. Some are shy. It's, it's like some people may feel like you are like... Um, out of their league, but they're still approaching you. I see people offering their cup. I see people wanting to be your friend, wanting to get to know you romantically. A lot of you are really having people fall in love here. Like getting really emotionally um, invested into you. I see you working well with people. So you're on the right track. This is just a distraction. I don't think you need to worry about this too much, honestly. Because I'm getting good energy. I'm getting lighthearted energy, loving energy here. Oh, here we go. All right. Somebody or some type of energy is, is creeping in. Y'all going to have to be on, on alert. Okay. Some of you are meeting people and there's a... Um, there's a culprit in the pack here. There's something you need to be on alert about. You have to be on alert, Virgo. There's something trying to creep into your good times here. Okay. I'm getting this strongly. Let's clarify this. Ten of Swords. I feel like you might meet people and you might get a, a bad one in the bunch. Wow. Wow. Remain positive. Okay, some of you may be meeting Aquarius people. You might meet an Aquarian. I don't know. Remain positive. Know you're on the right track and you're being supported. That's what I'm getting. There's something trying to make you worry. I don't feel like you have anything to worry about. Not with the strength here. Okay, so Leo, Capricorn is here. Aquarius is here. Okay, and water signs. <clears throat> All right. Seven of Swords, tell me more. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Ooh, yeah, there's going to be some kind of bad offer. <laughs> oh gosh, y'all going to have to be on alert. We're going to extend on this. I think y'all gonna have to be on alert. Some of you, what I'm getting is you're gonna think something is a bad offer. It's gonna have all of the signs of like a bad offer, but it's actually a good offer. And I feel like that's how this is coming in. Cause I'm getting genuine energy, but then I get like, nope, don't take it. So it's like an offer that you don't want to take, but you probably should take. They want you to like remain positive here. 
some of you will be working out of this jaded energy where you feel like everything's going to keep you stuck. That's how I'm receiving the message. We're going to extend on this to see what else they want to add. Some of you, I don't want you to miss this opportunity. The way this is coming through, it's like you're on the right track. The people you're meeting, you can work well with them. They recognize who you are. They give you your accolades. They're making the offer. They're wanting to be your friends. Like this is someone who wants to be your friend first. And hopefully it can reach something else. So I don't feel like they're coming in in a sneaky way. We got all these pages though. Okay, page of swords. Page of cups, page of pentacles in reverse clarifying the seven of swords so it's like these are the new people a lot of you are meeting multiple people there may be a bad one in the bunch you might give the wrong person that um that energy you might assign that energy to the wrong one though that's what i'm getting I'm getting something about Aquarian energy as well. Tell me about strength. You can, like, the work has been done. I feel like you've already built yourself up to a certain place. Okay, that's what this is. This is another eight. You guys are surrounded by eight. Even the star, which is here twice, is an eight. It's 17. So you got one eight here, another eight here, another eight here, another eight here, and another eight here. Oh, and there's another one here. Y'all got all these eights. Wow, I didn't realize it was this much. Wow. So there's a lot of abundance around you, like I was saying. But there's something that's going to make you think that it's not. There's something that's going to really make you doubt your own success. Y'all going to have to really... Um, know who you are and this is why this is important okay i get it don't fall for the okie doke virgo you are where you need to be and it's not as hard as it might seem all you got to do is trust in your own strength and you're fine okay um is there a need to be on alert? Yes, but I don't think this can really affect you. The way it's trying to come through is like to bring in fear and all of that and doubt. And you don't need to work through that energy. You're strong enough. You're strong enough. You're on the right track. They're emphasizing this. Some of you have something huge going to happen in Aquarius season. Some of you may be meeting an Aquarius person. Someone you can build with, someone you can work with. Some of you, this may be at work. And I feel like this person will be strong, just like you. There's going to be similarities, but there's like an abundant time coming for you. And that I can't stress enough. But we're going to get into the extended here. Your. Um, definitely at a place that is good your dreams need a practical plan okay so if you have certain aspirations it's time to put them in motion it's like you don't need to sit and dream about them anymore this can be that dream energy the star i have these dreams i wish upon a star i want this i want put it into motion it's time to actually bring your dreams into reality and this is what I'm feeling. 
I feel like you have the ability to do that, Virgo. Anything else for Virgo? You have the ability to do that. So don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt what's coming in. Okay. Um, this is actually really good. We're going to see what else we can get on this because I feel like there is more. I mean, look at where we ended. So we're going to see more on this and see what comes out. But honestly, I don't think you have anything to worry about with the strength in the center. I feel like you're going to have things that come up that make you want to worry. But with the star here twice, they want you to remain positive. Don't put that negative energy into your good, um, this good spread. It's like, it's good for you. I feel like this spread is good for you. Yeah. Bringing your dreams into reality, you need a practical plan. So we'll see what the extended says. I'm offering the 2022 timeline report and it can tell you what energies to expect throughout the year. The link for that is down below. But we're going to leave it there, Virgo. I really hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. It's trying. Yeah, it's trying. Oh, man. Let's keep going. Let's see what else surrounds this. Because this is, this is persistent. Oh, my God. It's really trying. Wow. Look who's here. Um, it's trying to come through the people you meet. Uh, something's trying to make you doubt someone who's actually your person. Virgo. Oh my God, we're gonna clarify this like right now. This is crazy. Interesting. Tell me more about this. Devil, why is the devil here? See, the devil's trying to mess with your new love. <laughs>